Hey everybody, let's go texture! Texture, woo! Time to UV unwrap. Select these edges and mark seam with Control E. Select all and unwrap. Go into the UV editor and preview the islands. I marked this edge as sharp too at some point. I'll quickly show you where I marked the rest of my seams. Unwrapping can be tricky, just try to think about it like you're cutting up objects into pieces that will lay flat. In the UV editor, hit N to open the side panel. Enable stretching under the overlays. Blue is the goal. Unwrapping is pretty forgiving. There's no right or wrong way to do it. In general, it's easier to work with the less stretching you have. Break big objects up into smaller, easier to work with shapes. Marking the inside seams on the hand is pretty tricky because of the overlapping. Hiding faces is helpful for this. If any object seems to be way too large on your texture when you unwrap, it probably doesn't have its scale applied. So apply your scale to everything in the object menu. I used an edge split modifier on his mustache as well. For the teeth, I projected from view to unwrap them. This can lead to issues while baking, but for this occasion, it's cool. We want to use the same unwrap for both hair objects. So enable both objects visibility. Select the not unwrapped hair and shift select the unwrapped hair object. Hit Ctrl L and choose transfer UV maps. The UV map will transfer, but the seams won't be automatically marked. To do that, select the entire mesh, click the UV menu and choose seams from islands. When it's all unwrapped, you can use face select to select individual UV islands in the 3D viewport by selecting one face within and hitting Ctrl L. Create some new materials. Add a new material slot, select the second slot, and hit new. Choose a blue color. Hit assign. Select the islands that will be red, and add a new material to the first slot. Choose a red color. It'll most likely automatically assign. If not, hit assign. Make his buttons yellow. Select a peach tone for his skin. Use the same red material on the hat. Brown for the shoes, and a lighter brown for the bottom of the shoes. That's looking good! Let's make these materials a little more fancy. Add an ambient occlusion node to the blue texture and a color ramp. Sample the blue color from this box. Use a darker blue in the other color slot. Adjust these sliders until you get the look you want. Use the darker color on the left side and the lighter color on the right. Do the same with the red color. For the buttons, use a brown to give it a golden tint. Feel free to experiment with settings until you get it the way you like. Use a light gray for his gloves. The fingers quickly become too dark because they're overlapping geometry. My fingers ended up too dark, so I went back later and changed it. Set up the boots in a similar way. For the skin, I used a couple other skin tones for the shadowing. Use the gloves white for the hat emblem. Use the materials to color his neck. Create a new material for his hair. Use two different brown colors. Adjust the roughness on any of these materials to your liking. Use a darker brown for his facial hair. Pick a red color for his tongue. Be careful using ambient occlusion in an enclosed space. It has a tendency to quickly become too dark.
Use a slightly blue-gray color on the teeth. I changed around my colors on the hair a bit. I used the white color for his eyes, added in another principal shader with a mix node, used a pupil texture, then moved my UV so the pupil sat in about the right place. Then I used the texture's alpha as the mix node's factor. Duplicate this material and name it eyes, then strip the extra nodes out of the glove's white texture. Scale and position the eyes UV a little better. Add a texture coordinate and mapping node. Rename this texture to eyes.r, add another material slot, and select the eye texture again. Hit the duplicate button and change the name to .l. Apply the mirror modifier and assign the new material to the left eye. Now you can use the mapping node to position his eyes. Select the logo. In the image editor, create a new image. Create a new material and assign it to the logo object. Add this new image to the hat logo material. Initially, I planned on baking this to a different texture, so I left the resolution low. Feel free to use a smaller texture size or rescale this UV to fill up more of the texture space. Switch into texture paint and paint on the logo. I layered on colors and blurred them a bit. It definitely doesn't have to be perfect. You can also use a different program to create your images and then load them in the blender if you prefer. Select the red color and change the stroke from space to line. Eyeball in an M and fill it in. Use a darker red and lower brush strength to give it some shading. Blur to smooth. Shade and blur with gray. And that looks good enough to me. Apply the hair color to the other hair objects as well. Create a new texture named Mario Body or something. I use 2048 by 2048 as the resolution. Add an image node and select this texture in every material on his body. Shift select all these objects and tab into edit mode. Select all the faces. Click the microwave and under bake, select diffuse. Only have color selected. Change the margin to something lower, maybe 6 pixels. Hit bake and wait for the color to bake. Save this image. In the shader editor, replace the ambient occlusion and color ramp nodes with this texture. Make sure you duplicate the red and skin color to be used for his hat and face, since they need ambient occlusion for their bake. Unwrap the glove islands together, create a new texture of whatever size you want for the gloves. Add this texture to the glove material. Bake the texture and replace the nodes. Unwrap all of the skin colored face objects together, as well as the teeth and tongue. Position these islands however you want. Change the margin if you want them further apart. Create a new face texture and add it to the material node. Hit bake, replace. Unwrap the hair objects, do the same. Create a texture for the hat and bake. If anything is lacking color like this, the normals are probably flipped. So select all and recalculate those pesky normals outside. And rebake! The normal hair's UVs don't match the texture anymore. So select the one that's colored weird, shift select the one that's working, hit Ctrl L and choose Transfer UV Maps. Now it should look right. We also need to bake these little back hair things. Save all the textures when you're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave us a like or a comment. Next time we begin the rigging. Thanks again, Lugaboo!